One of the first things you're going to want to do before you put in your motherboard is put in the I.O. shield. This is the little bracket that comes inside of the motherboard. We're going to want to put this, attach it back here, and all you do is line it up. And just kind of pop it in place. So you see right here, there's these little dots. Those dots pop out a little bit. So on the back of the case, when you push this through it, those pop through the piece of metal, keeping the IO shield in place. So do it again for you. Alright, first time you do it, it might seem a little rough, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, just like anything in life. We're going to want to move this uh, power cable for the fan because this is where we're going to be putting the motherboard. It'll get in our way, so I'll just kind of slide it behind the fan up here, and we'll get back to that soon. First thing we're going to want to do is we want to verify that that hole, 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 and that hole are covered here with the motherboard standoff screw right here, 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 and here. I don't just know that that's going to work. I've, again, I've been doing this for a long time. I already know the placement of all those screws. If you've never done it before, one of the easiest and best things you can do is hold up your motherboard, kind of lining it up with the I.O. shield. Look to see if all the holes align. So you can see right here, if you can, I can, but that all the holes align. So this will be the perfect time to screw in everything. All right, so using this screw, this will be the screw that you screw in for all the motherboard. The way I know this is right in the manual, they tell you right here, motherboard ODD screw 20, and they show you the screw. And if you look up close, that is the screw. Trust me, it's a screw. All right, so, so first off, what I'll do is I'll just put the screw right on the screwdriver. It helps if you have a screwdriver tip that is a little magnetized and just lift up your motherboard look in the back make sure everything fits in nicely and then again visually just make sure all those holes are lined up or at least will be lined up when every single screw is tightened all right I have a single screw in there so I can let go of the motherboard and it's not going to fall all right and And last but not least, all right, so we're done plugging in the motherboard. One step closer, so we have the motherboard, CPU, CPU heatsink, and memory here. Now, we don't have to do this now, but just to show you, we'll go ahead and connect the, the exhaust back here, and we'll connect it into chassis fan right up here. 
as we're building that will probably change but just to give you an idea and to make it look pretty we'll hide it back here but again that will probably change some of you don't care and for those of you that don't that's totally fine I like to make the inside of my PC nice and clean the cleaner your PC is on the inside better airflow all these cables clustered around here you're not going to get any airflow from the front from the bottom from the top clearer this is again the more air passes over everything I'm going to go ahead and do is just I'm going to remove the top three hard drive bays I'll do that just by undoing this thumb screw Then afterwards you can just use your fingertips to pull it out. Let's see. First time I've used this case, so I don't know everything about it just yet. Just undo these thumb screws. I'll undo this thumb screw. And this one. So let's turn it around. And now we have free space right here. We're able to see a little bit of that 200 millimeter fan, huge fan. All right, and I will get back to that a little bit later. And just to get them out of the way, I'll go ahead and install my mechanical hard drives here. So there is going to be, if you notice here, a little notch here, a little bump, and another little bump here. Same on the other side, here and here. With that little bump, so what we're going to want to do is just push it, push it out. All right, put that down just for now, and we'll push that out here, push that out here, just for now so that we can slide one of our hard drives in so then we just take a hard drive push it in alright you'll notice the little holes the screw holes line up there's even one up here for shipping purposes so you can screw it down so you can screw down all three here and all three on the other side again for shipping purposes since this isn't going anywhere at least anytime soon all I'm going to do now is just pop these back in place and they're not going to go anywhere and I'll pop this one back in place also and when I'm done slide it in I know that was a little bit out of the camera view but you'll see it on this I'll repeat it three times pull this out and we'll repeat that three times Whoops. And those holes line up. And then we can just pop it in, snap it in. Mechanical hard drives can get hot they can get very hot so it's great that there's a fan right up here blowing across that keeping those hard drives nice and cool and well SSDs they don't get really that hot they don't have anything moving inside of them side electricity so it's good to go there you can blow air over them but you don't need to Alright, so we've just installed three hard drives, and again, we've removed the other tray up here that could have housed three more hard drives or SSDs, and let me just show you how that would work. So I'll just take out this hard drive and just pop this out, pop this out, 
take that out. All right, so then you'll notice there's screws here, or I'm sorry, holes here. And those holes match up perfectly with the holes on the back of this SSD. All right, so if I were to put it just like this, put the SSD right here, flip it over, all right, and see how they all match here, 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 and here. So with the screws they've provided, these little guys here, just screw them right in here and I'll show you real quick. I'm only going to do one just to show you. Alright, so it's right in here. And even with one, it holds in there. Slide it in. Good to go. You take that out. Again, that's just for mechanical drive purposes. For me at least. You could put SSDs there if you want. 